And I'm Jennifer Copeland in for Sonia Gant. That breaking news, Bank of America expecting to slash between 30 and 35,000 jobs over the next three yeah, years. These are projected cuts, the result of the merger with Merrill Lynch and the weak economy. Shareholders approved that merger just last week. The bank says it will have a final plan by early 2009 and reductions come from both companies. Join us as Tony Plath, economics professor at UNCC. Tony, we appreciate you being with us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, a week ago, CNBC was reporting 30,000 possible layoffs here. Today, we're learning that number could go as high as 35,000. Is that surprising to you? No, it's not. This is not unexpected. People downtown have been talking about it now for about the last week or so. The new news in this announcement is, number one, the layoffs are going to be deeper due to a weakening economy. And number two, it's going to hit Charlotte harder than we thought. Where do you expect these cuts to come? Well, basically, we know they're going to hit the investment bank. We know they're going to hit the Merrill Lynch side of the business in New York. But the new word is they're also going to be affecting the general bank, principally in the operations area of the bank, in the administrative areas of the bank. What we don't yet know is where the layoffs are going to occur across Bank of America's footprint. Will it be in Charlotte or will it be elsewhere in the U.S.? We expect it's going to be distributed across their franchise base, but the bank hasn't told us yet. How much of this is overlap and how much of this is the bad economy? Well, it's probably 50-50 at this point. I think originally it was because of the merger and because of the combination with Merrill and the need to pair the investment bank. But more and more, it's become increasingly obvious as the unemployment rate rises, as layoffs continue, that the consumer loan book of the major consumer lenders and Bank of America is the largest consumer lender are weakening substantially. And as that happens, the weakening economy is causing more and more layoffs. That's what we're hearing and seeing today. You know, while the bank is headquartered here. We tend to be concerned about what happens here. What is the potential impact here in the Charlotte area, do you believe, economically? Well, it it's really hard to say at this point because we've got to wait and see what the announcement from the bank is in terms of the actual physical number of layoffs. I suspect that because the bank is going to phase layoffs in over a three-year period, the economic impact will be diminished over time. But at the same time, the numbers are still likely to run into the thousands, even in the Charlotte market. But they'll occur over a longer period of time than what we're likely to see from Wachovia, where all those losses are likely to occur in the first part of the year. Tony Plath from UNC. We appreciate you being with us tonight. Thanks very much. This Thanks, news is.